just yesterday I was making a video about love God first and love one another as you love yourself. And I was speaking in regards of uh, people and nations and leaders and supreme leaders uh, and directing it particular to the Alatol Khomeini in Iran. And I was saying how God's very angry with the men and how God, his only commandment was to love God first and to love one another. And to let you know how connected to the Holy Spirit I am, today, a complete YouTube video that I just uh, subscribed to is talking about the same thing. Now, I know that the Lord of Hosts has done this with many people that may have come to know me and i do know that i'm connected to the lord god jesus holy spirit because this is how the lord of host has been doing this in my life so i just wanted to show you the next video on what it looks like from a man's perspective ben shapiro to love god first and love one another as yourself for instance Israel and Iran, or <clears throat> Ishmael and Isaac, or Jacob and his brother, twin brother, Esau, or my father and his ten sisters and brothers, or my grandpa and his brother, or my siblings, me and my siblings. How is it <clears throat> to love? God first, and then love one another as you love yourself. Let's take a look. Relationship of love, or is there some other form of relationship that needs to begin as a foundation for love, such as respect? And how does God command us to love? Like God commands us, love your fellow as yourself. In that verse, it actually is referring to your fellow, which we know it throughout the Torah refers to your fellow Jew. But how can we command? Third, 20. Twenty-four. Look in your natural physical eyes from when you're standing, when I'm standing. I've never been to Iran, but I'm half American, half Iranian. I would love to come to Iran, but I will not go under conditions where women are not treated very equally, very good. And if a woman speaks or gets out of a line or even has hair like this, and not covered, not covered. The penalties can be very severe for her. This is not fair. To me, as a United States citizen who believes in God and for the most part tries to do the right thing, always, always, to me, that's bitterness. It makes me angry that there is a division between man and woman. And if I was God upstairs looking down, creating man and woman, and there was so much division, even to the point of now separate man and woman and just keep only the men and men against this nation and this nation and this nation and that nation and this I promise you, if you were hungry and you just woke up and you didn't have food and somebody offered you something in kindness and love and cleanliness, you would say thank you and accept this food regardless of who it came from because the heart is what my God sees. So I hope that you hear this to the supreme leader of Iran, where my father is born, where my people 
in Iran are, as I'm an American citizen here in America, I look out into the world today and think, my God, thank you for giving me a mouth to speak, for giving me eyes to see, hands to help, to cook, to give, to teach. I will not be disrespected by somebody who has more money because I have none. I will not be disrespected by somebody who's taller than me because this is how God made me. When I'm a good person inside, I only expect goodness around me as anybody should. So I leave this with you today. And I say this, enough is enough. There's so much. To love someone else, God also commands us to love God. It's part of the Shema prayer. How does that work? Can you just command someone into loving someone? And how do we determine who we have an obligation to love? There was a very interesting conversation that took place between Lex Friedman and Ben Shapiro, both two Jewish guys, and uh, one uh, uh, one more uh, more uh, engaged in Judaism, um, one less. Uh, both very highly uh, intellectual people. And what's interesting, I've observed from uh, listening to Lex just a few times, is that he uh, he has a uh, he's very strong passion for bringing more love into the world. Now, very often, people are very suspicious of that love, not his particular. Based on the humanity that connects everybody, right? So you love this this whole project that we're a part of. And actually, so to, to, another thing we disagree on, so loving a stranger, like having that basic empathy and compassion towards a stranger, even if it can hurt you, I think it's ultimately a, like a... That is a... That to me is what it means to be a good man, that to live the, a good life, is to have that compassion towards strangers. Because to me, it's almost, it's easy and, and natural and obvious to love people close to you. But to step outside yourself and to love others, I think that's what, that's the fabric of a good society. You don't think there's value to that? I think there can be, but I think we're also discussing love almost in two different senses. Meaning that when I talk about love, what I think of immediately is the love I bear for my wife and kids. Or my parents, or my siblings, or about friendship, uh, or the love of my close friends. Yeah. Okay, but I, I'm, but I, I think that it's that using that same term to describe how I feel about strangers, I think would just be inaccurate. And so that's why I'm, I'm suggesting that respect might be a more solid and realistic foundation for the way that we treat people far away from us or people who are strangers. Respect for their dignity, respect for their priorities, respect for their role in life. Uh, it might be too much of an ask, in other words. I mean, maybe there might be the rare human being who's capable of literally loving a homeless man on the street the way that he loves his own family. But if you respect the homeless man on the street the way that you respect your own family, uh, because everyone is deserved, everyone deserves that respect. I think that you get to the same end without without forcing people into a position of of unrealistically expecting themselves to feel a thing they don't feel. You know, one, one of the big questions in religion that comes up is God makes certain requests that you feel certain ways, right? You're supposed to be you're supposed to be you happy about know certain things. Or, who is homeless? You know, you... So Lex says at the beginning of the conversation, love, love others even if it can hurt you. Isn't that what makes someone a good person? Uh, he sort of throws that in, but then he uh, sort of uh, just discusses in general that we should be loving of other people. We definitely should be loving of other people. Should we love other people? No, to I'm not that Jesus. I'm Shiloh, well, what we but... mean by that. If Jesus was homeless, and we should respect money, Jesus. Or anything of that nature, absolutely. We as we respect our family, but love for, for my family is different. And that is often Take the greatest that as expression my of genuine love. But if it means 
that you I love actually a let homeless someone person the way me, that you love your family for if Jesus that is that is homeless not person productive. it may feel productive on my how end, do you just respect the homeless person as your family but you love your family that's what Jesus was saying who is my brother who is my mother world. who is my in some respect this is what's uh, being demanded of Israel in 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 um, relationship with the uh, Palestinians and Hamas um, that will not help the world at all he was so saying, love, love God love first. Places. But then ben responds by saying love God first and then love one another as you love, love yourself. Because there's love of Okay, as you can see, perspection, your perspective on whatever is very important because respect and love are two different things. They go hand in hand, of course. But how is it that you're going to just Respect Jesus, being that he don't have a home if you didn't know who he was. And love your family as you respect them as well. You respect the homeless, but the love and respect are two different things. Well, if that was Jesus on the street, how do you love God first and then love one another as you love yourself? And that's what I'm saying. Love is a very important frequency and you can watch my next videos. Just yesterday I was making a video about love God first and love one another as you love yourself. And I was speaking in regards of uh, people and nations and leaders and supreme leaders uh, and directing it in particular to the Alatolan Khamenei, God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, because this is how the Lord of Hosts has been doing this in my life. So I just wanted to show you the next video on what it looks like from a man's perspective, Ben Shapiro, to love God first and love one another as yourself. For instance, Okay, as you can see, perspection, your perspective on whatever is very important because respect and love are two different things. They go hand in hand, of course, but how is it that you're going to just respect Jesus, being that he don't have a home if you didn't know who he was, and love your family?